all the laps that you've done, different tracks, is there any track that you really enjoy driving the most? So you've been in a lot of different Corvettes. Do you have a favorite Corvette per yeah, se? Oh yeah, no questions. Trunk in the front. Wow. Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm going to move a little faster today. I've got a lot to share with you guys on the channel and just a lot of work to do here in the office. I've got a ton of emails and I've just, I've just got to sit and camp out in front of this computer. A lot of you guys going, yeah man, I'm waiting to hear from you. I, that's my focus and the goal today. But you just never know what kind of curveball I'm going to get. Welcome to our show, which is essentially like a um, Corvette reality channel right here on YouTube. Before we get started today, just thank you. I got a, I got a big piece of mail. I'd love to share this with you guys. Like a little kid at Christmas. It's rabbit. <laughs> First a quick note. Can you guess what that is? I'll show you in just a second. Uh, the letter says, Rick, this is Michael Morrell. I'm wrapping up a 21-year career in the U.S. Navy. All right, man. Thank you so much for your service. I'll be retiring on Friday, August 30th. I currently work at the White House as part of the Presidential Food Service. I'm a longtime viewer of your YouTube channel. I owned a C6 and I just sold it recently. I need a retirement gift. You are doing a great job. Keep up the amazing work on the channel. Looking forward to meeting you one day. You and your family enjoy the presidential peanuts. <laughs> I'll bring some of these home for the kids, but also my Corvette family here on YouTube. I'll let you know soon we're gonna be, yeah, look at these guys, presidential peanuts. This is really cool. Michael, thank you so much, sir. This is uh, a great way to start the day and start the vlog. I appreciate that. Okay, guys, a quick apology about today's vlog. I know I was all excited last night. I posted on Facebook and Instagram that I was going to share with you the meet and greet and interview with retired Corvette engineer Jim Merrow. Here's the thing, after meeting him, I was so fired up. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna put this vlog up tomorrow. No, I'm not. That's gonna be a longer edit for me. I wanna do it right for you guys so you enjoy viewing it. And it's gonna be more of a typical Coffee with Conti show. So on Sunday here on the channel, you'll see that interview, that meet and greet with just a great guy that is truly enthusiastic still, even after retirement, about all the things that he's done and he's gonna to continue to promote for Corvette. So yeah, yeah, he's the guy to drive these on the Nuremberg ring. And he is, <laughs> he's a blast, but let me just tell you something. He is certifiably nuts. You're gonna love it. Join us Sunday, our conversation with Jim Merrill right here on the channel. Okay, because it is Tuesday, it is time now, not only for a quick tip from Rick, but my buddy Chuck here, in case you haven't met him, a lot of new subscribers to the channel. Thank you guys, this is Chuck Metz, our exclusive Corvette technician. If you want Chuck to work on your car when you come to Coughlin, you need to request Chuck, just because we've been really busy. Oh, we've, yeah, very busy. It's just crazy, and thank you for that. We appreciate that, yeah, guys, absolutely. but you only can do so much in a day. I've been telling you guys about the training that I've been doing on the Chevrolet stuff that's required as a salesman. You've been starting to do some training as well to get ready for the C8 2020 car. Absolutely. And something, <laughs> Chuck goes, are we going to talk about this? Said, yeah, yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> he ran across something that I'm not happy about, and I told you guys in April, and I said it even a year ago I wasn't happy about, in regards to the mid-engine Corvette in duplication. And that's because you found something that eluded that this mid-engine car is going to become a Cadillac, possibly, as well. Possibly. Well, they meant, they, I don't know what they said. What did they say? Possibly a mid-engine Cadillac, yes. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that's, that's all I want to say about it. You know I'm not happy about that. Uh, me neither, really. No, this is all a Corvette dream. This is Zora's dream, and everybody get off our coattails, okay? None of this duplication. That's just great. I'm looking forward to going to Ron Fellow School. Oh, absolutely. Imagine. Yeah, we still don't know when that's going to happen. They keep telling us in October. We thought we were going in October, but I think at this point it will be October when we register. I'm going to be calling out there to find out what Donna says and see if they even know, but we're looking forward to it. I know at the end of September, beginning of October, is when they're going to have some of the production cars actually made uh, for the press and things of that nature, as Taj told you, as we shared with you guys on Sunday. If you haven't seen that video on Sunday, my gosh, I know a lot of you are traveling, you're busy, but please go watch when you got time and you're not driving. 
watch the Coffee with Conti show. All kinds of great information in there, including from Taj at Carlisle, talking about why production cars are not made yet. All the cars you're looking at in C8 right now are EX VIN numbers and some other neat things he talked about and stuff that, you know, confirming uh, that we've told you as far as when cars are going to begin arriving to the showrooms. So in regards to the quick tip, we're just back here just chatting a little bit, uh, talking about tires. How do you guys know when you need tires on your Corvette? Now each model has a different tread uh, depth and width and things of that nature. So behind us right here is a 2019 Z06 trade-in. How many miles on this thing? Like 1,300 or something yeah, like that? Yeah, 1,300, 1,400. And just like when we buy inventory from other dealerships, this car was not sold by us. Chuck noticed it right away. <laughs> You got idiots doing the new car prep. Anybody notice what's missing on the front of a 19 Z06? Just a 1LZ, you're supposed to have at least the plastic splitter there. And then look over here, no holes are drilled. They never even put at least the three quarter rocker extensions on the car. Doesn't that frustrate you? Yeah, it does. Well, if they can't put them on, I assume not try. <laughs> <laughs> just send us the box. Yeah, just it. send us the box. All right, let's look at these tires. So this car's got 1,300 miles on it, and these tires look fine. They better look fine, right? You know, unless, unless it's 1,300 miles done a quarter mile at a time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole different ball game. So for the customer that's just in their driveway, a lot of times, you know, the car's up in the air, but when the car's down, you guys, you're just going to look at this part. You're probably only going to see this part of the of the tire tread. You're oh, I'm good. But what they really need to look for is the inside part Absolutely. of the tire to really know if you need tires. One of the, one of the indications that will tell you that you need tires is that all of a sudden you notice that it gets noisier inside your car. Mm -hmm. it's, it's probably time to get tires. But show me what they should look for. Well, if, you, if you're just trying to figure out at home, on the fronts especially, the good thing is you can turn the tires to lock one way. Now you can see the entire tire. So it's sitting in the driveway, just, just go ahead and turn it like that? Yeah, and absolutely. you can look across the whole tire. Perfect. And each tire, if you look, has wear bars in them. See the little bars in them right here? Yes, sir. Once they're down to that wear bar, it's time to replace them. If they get beyond that wear bar, it's long been time to replace them. But, yeah, you want to look at the tire as a whole, not just the outside edge, not just the inside, but all the way across the tire. And where are you most commonly seeing the wear of the tires? Most commonly, it wears on the inner edge. Yep. Yep. Big controversy as far as people having the camber and the caster adjusted after they get the car. What's your, what's your feeling on that, man? Uh, I mean, uh, I said with the factory specs, according to that, that the factory set up for more of a, a tracking thing. Right. I have guys bring me their own specs. That they say it's more of a streetable that it will help right. the longevity of the tire. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Right. Unless you tell me otherwise, I'm going to set it to the factory specs. Like I said, a lot of guys bring me their own specifications. Sure. I, I try, you, you never can hit them exact. I try to get close right. to what they want, and then they're happy with them. And, and kind of what Chuck's talking about is the tires, rather than sitting flat like this, will have a little bit of curvature like that, so it holds better in a, in a tracking type situation. And what we've noticed of late, too, people are traveling a long distance to have you realign their cars because you have something a lot of dealers don't have right now. And what is that? <laughs> it's the rear caster adjustment. Yeah, a lot cool. of places don't have that. Oh, yeah, uh, we. I ordered ours, I, I was doing research before the 14s come out and come yeah. across it and told them, hey, we gotta have this. So sure. we had it before the cars even got here. Yeah, so if they're doing alignment and they don't have that tool, then you're really kind of getting an incomplete right. alignment. And then you're gonna get erratic wear yes. on the tires. Yep. All right. And the bad thing about these tires is the geometry. If anybody knows, instead, your normal tires turn like this. The vet tires lay over. That's why at slow speeds they seem choppy. Right. That's why. It's the geometry of the tires. Always nice talking to you, Chuck. Yeah, it's okay. always nice to be talking to everybody. All right, you can, did you get a little haircut for us? Uh, yeah, a little, just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Trunk in the front. Wow. Thanks again, guys, for being here with us. I do appreciate that. And you know on my channel, I have some regimented uploads that we do on Sunday, the Coffee with Conti show. And today, a quick tip from Rick, along with your beautiful rides, which are coming up in just a moment. A new feature I'm going to introduce to the channel, it's only gonna run till about February, and that's gonna be Flashback Fridays. Sitting here thinking and talking to a couple of you on the channel, 
We've got hundreds of videos and we've got a lot of new subscribers and you guys, even if you wanted to find those videos, it'd be so difficult to find those and the onslaught of hundreds of uploads that are here on this channel right now. So Flashback Fridays are coming at you every Friday, just little segments from previous vlogs so you don't forget or maybe you've never seen. I just got so many people that I've met, I don't want those to be lost in the archives. So we're going to bring them back forward to you for Flashback Fridays. New feature coming this Friday. Is it driving you nuts? All right, I'll put it down. I'm sorry. In typical fashion, as we end every Tuesday video, it's featuring your beautiful rides. A couple of ways you can participate in that. By sending a picture of your ride. Email that picture. Email address is up on the screen right now. No matter what the ride is, we'll put it in a rotation, feature as many as we can at the end of every vlog every Tuesday right here on the channel. The other way you can participate is by introing that segment. Just say who you are, where you're from, now let's check out some of your beautiful rides. I really appreciate you guys being part of the channel in that manner as well. But before we get going, don't forget to send me also some of your caravan pictures. This week it is the 25th anniversary celebration of the National Corvette Museum. Well, you'll have an opportunity. Don't forget to look out and seek out Jim Merrow. He'll be down there talking with you guys, flashing those C6 magnetic ride controls, and it does a fantastic job. Don't forget to watch our Sunday Coffee with Conti, our conversation with Jim Merrill right here on this channel. All right, let's end the segment with your beautiful rides. Jose, help us out, man. Can you please get it together? I just need like five or six seconds here, okay? Hey, Rick, sorry about that. Somebody's acting real camera shy today. Anyway, I'm gonna try this one more time. This is take 21. Hey guys, this is Jose from North Carolina with my 2017 Grand Sport and we are ready to see some of your beautiful rides. And I didn't understand that you 